All right, so let's talk about CMMC Level 2. So CMMC Level 2 is essentially for aerospace and defense contractors, higher education institutions, anybody in the defense industrial base handling or processing CUI, or Controlled Unclassified Information. So CUI can take the forms of many things. It can be CUI, CDI, which is controlled defense information, CTI, which is controlled technical information, and then you also have ITAR or ex export control data as well. So really, if you, if you hold any data that meets any of those categories, you're probably going to need to be CMMC level two. So if you have DFAR 7012 requirements as well, there's a really strong possibility that you're going to have to be CMMC level two. So as far as what domains are in CMMC level two, you can check out the list of every domain on the page below. But essentially, CMMC level one has six domains. And then you add another eight domains on top of that to make 14. That's CMMC level two. The levels are in aggregate. They build on top of each other. And uh, there's things like access control and audit and accountability and things of that nature that fall within that within that list, okay? So finding CUI in your environment. So if CMMC level two revolves around finding CUI in your environment, how do you find CUI in your environment, right? So we actually wrote a blog uh, on identifying CUI in your environment with Microsoft 365 Purview. So Purview are these uh, capabilities specifically within the Microsoft stack that you can, um, you can leverage to go in and identify what CUI is in your environment, right? You can find uh, where it lives, how to label it, things like that. And, and that's all part of asset identification and scoping and how you're preparing for CMMC level two. Okay, so DFAR 7012 introduced uh, quite a few years ago, and then CMMC. How do they overlap? So DFARS and CMMC overlap is essentially comprised of three things. So you have adequate security, contractual flow down, and then incident response or incident reporting. So adequate security, you're talking about NIST 800-171 which is the 110 controls identified in NIST 800-171. Those are technical controls. They were also applicable in 7012. Uh, and as the DOD says, the defense industrial base should have already been doing all these things. So they say. So contractual flow down. If a prime contractor has CUI and they have certain requirements, CMMC level two, for example, then they will flow those down to their subs and so on and so forth, right? And so CUI can be sent down. It can, it can be created on or for on or by the government, and you can actually create it and send it to a prime as well. And so uh, there's some symbiotic relationship there, but flow down is something that we see, uh, you know, contractors saying things like, well, I'll just roll up under my prime contractor and they're compliant. And we say, hey, that, that's actually not how it works. If you're flow down sensitive data, you have to show and display that you can meet the same uh, CMMC requirements as them. So level two in the case of CUI. All right, so how should organizations be preparing now? So we recently did uh, some content called the seven steps to CMMC compliance. And basically it walks companies through the seven steps to CMMC, what you should be doing now. And the timeline really uh, is it's, it's anywhere from 12 to 18 months. We used a fictitious company and said, okay, it's going to take them 52 weeks from this date to be ready to have an assessment. Okay. So step one is going to be defining your required level of CMMC. So obviously, if you're watching this video, you've done that at CMMC level two. Then we talk about things like the technical design. Is it an enclave or is it an all-in approach, lift and shift approach? Are we going to build out an entire uh, infrastructure? Or are we going to go you know, do a virtual environment, put CUI over here, okay? And then things like preparing documentation, POAM remediation, um, talking to a C3PAO, just getting ready for the actual assessment itself, itself is how a company should be preparing now. So what solution can get me to CMMC level two compliance? Funny you asked. Microsoft 365 GCC or GCC High has the capability to hold certain types of data. Now that built on the Azure and government infrastructure, right, compiled into a compliant cloud, which is what Summit 7 does, well, that proper configuration and implementation of GCC High and Azure Government, well, that can get you a majority of the way there for technical controls. Now, there are some things outside of that you have to do for CMMC Level 2. They can be found on this page. But essentially, it's finding the proper partner to help uh, mitigate a lot of those issues and then finding the proper partner to help you document and prepare to show an assessor, hey, we had these things implemented. This is what we're doing to protect it now. This is what we're going to do pr to protect it in the future, okay? 
So CMMC assessment preparation specifically, what should you be doing? Well, like I mentioned earlier, it can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to prepare for this, uh, for an assessment, right? So you should be seeking out the appropriate partner or RPO, whatever that looks like for you. You should be seeking out the right um, CSP if you're in the cloud or moving resources from on-prem to the cloud or whatever your approach is. And then you should be reaching out to Cyber AB approved C3 PAOs who are the ones who are gonna do the actual assessments, right? Getting on their schedules, talking to them about what is this gonna look like? And you know, there are many ways to prepare and the DIB is uh, a little bit confused right now as to what that looks like. And Summit 7 hosts the series of events called the Cloud Security and Compliance Series Events, CS2 events, if you've heard of it. So CS2 is essentially for contractors uh, looking to meet CMMC Level 2, CMMC Level 1, CMMC Level 3. It runs a gamut. Uh, honestly, we talk about NIST, DFAR 7012. We talk about NIST 853 sometimes. We talk about NFO controls. We talk about all of the buzzwords and the hot topics right now in terms of what's the DOD talking about? What is NIST talking about? And how does it relate to your company? How do we continue to win contracts um, and set ourselves up for success in the future? So if you'd like him for more, more information about CS2, you can go to cs2.cloud and check out some of the links below. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, hit that alert button.